Afternoon. Uh, hey man, what's, what's, what's going on? Going down trails today? Uh, yeah, that's that's the plan, yeah. Just uh, meeting up with some friends. Well, that's nice. Careful though. Why? Oh, okay. Careful. Sasquatches. Oh, easy, girl. Easy. Easy. It's okay. It's okay. What's wrong with you? Why are you startling my horse? Um. Get out of here. Get. Welcome to Powder Wig Machine. Today I'll be interviewing teachers. We have Jason, Leslie, Lacey, and Rose. Sorry, I couldn't find the place. And Matt. I'm your host, Brandon. Let's get started. So our first question today, thank you, thank you so much. If you could don those for me, good people. This is for your protection. What is your all time con favorite conspiracy theory? Let's start with Lacey. So I would have to say it's a fairly new conspiracy theory, but definitely um, since the uh, the election, there's been a conspiracy going around that Ted Cruz is the Zodiac Killer, and I absolutely firmly believe it. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of convincing <laughs> material out there. Matt. Yeah. All-time favorite conspiracy theory. Uh, Miles Cyrus is Hannah Montana. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people didn't know that. I'm, I'm a little really? taken aback by that. I mean, Ted Cruz being the Zodiac Killer, I mean, I, I kind of figured, but that, fuck. Jason. Well, you know, I'll have to go with uh, JFK. What about JFK? That uh, John Candy was JFK? That that he was uh, in the movie with... Oh, get, get that back on. Get that back I'm, on. I'm just a big fan of the movie. Just a big fan of... But I, okay. But I also think that it's probably the one that um, just has a lot of logic behind it. I mean, it's just, it makes too much sense. You thought those files would have been released by now but you would have thought it's still in a drawer somewhere rose i think that trump has any uh taxes to release to us in the first place is my favorite right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a good one i don't believe they exist topical leslie that avril lavigne is actually dead and her body double has been performing as her i heard that recently too yes. i saw it i think on a post on facebook and I just kind of went down the rabbit hole and just kept scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. How, how many hours were you going down the rabbit hole? Just like two, two and a half, because like, I fell asleep. 
Like halfway like, through. You, you like woke up and yeah. like, all of that. Wow. No. Oh, jeez. Our next question. Keep them on if you like. If you're feeling stylish, keep them on. <laughs> Do you have a personal mantra? And can you share that with us today? Let's start with Matt. Wallet, keys, cell phone. <laughs> yes. That's a good I live by that literally. Yes. Yeah, dude. Everywhere you go, any party yeah. you go to, you, you got to leave in the house. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely my it mantra. It gets through the drunk mind too. I think yes, it, it cuts does. through all of that. Yeah, it's very helpful. Jason, uh, mine is actually I'm not gonna mess this up. It gets me through a lot. <laughs> Leslie, I love my job. Lacey. I remember hearing that it's never good to half-ass two things. It's better to whole-ass one thing. So whole-ass one thing. Rose. I think mine is um, not to fake it. Like if you feel like you have to fake something, then it's probably not something you want to be doing in the first place. So like paying attention to like where you, where you're spending your energy. Yeah. yeah. Really That's what I'm doing with this show. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, our next question. If you could revisit a place from your past and it was exactly how you remembered it, where would you go and why? Let's start with Jason. Well, um, I think my childhood home's kitchen. Uh, Just like got the smells, the, the smells, the... Um, it's got like, we had avocado green uh, appliances and weird off puke yellow uh, <laughs> countertops and uh, an ace, like a window unit and uh, burglar bars on the door from the garage. And it's yes. very vivid and uh, that's awesome. Lacey. I recently for the first time was able to get out of Texas and I went to Colorado to Rocky Mountain National Park <clears throat> and it was just so happened to be the very first day that they had opened the Trail Ridge Road that goes up like, I don't know, 12,000 feet above sea level. This whole time we were just driving and driving and driving along this like endless trail that's endlessly scaling up. I was kind of in a state of awe for a good two hours because it takes, it's like a 50 mile trail. It was, it was gorgeous, it was horrifying, and I hadn't really felt all of those emotions before in one spot. So wow. I'd like to revisit that. It's just kind of overwhelming. Absolutely, yeah. But in the best way. Leslie, where would you go? Why? Uh, okay, probably the Discovery Zone. As soon as you asked it, as soon as you asked it, I was like, somewhere that I remember having fun and I wasn't aware of like how probably germy it was oh, absolutely, and yeah. but in my head the tunnels were huge and we're like crawling through it and I, yeah you didn't even realize that it was basically like crawling through like the yeah. shawshank redemption yes. scene with the sewers <laughs> i was all about that i was like i need yeah. to feel that again <laughs> and again and again matt uh, first thing that i thought of was uh my great grandma's house it was like haunted there was a garden Haunted? Yeah. What did you see? Did you see a ghost? I saw a ghost one time. But I mean, maybe I was like just dreaming, but I like woke up and there was like a floating lady. Yeah. And like when my grandma first moved in there, it would always be like a bunch of shit rattling all the time. She always tells a story. She was like, she just stopped it and she was like, hey, we bought this house. So this house is ours now. You could stay here if you want, but stop rattling everything. And after that, it never rattled. <laughs> She put her foot down with a ghost. Yeah. yeah. Rose. If it was someplace like I really wanted to be the same and like nostalgically visit, um, it would probably be my first apartment with my um, like first two roommates. Like, we were constantly fighting over like who was supposed to be doing the dishes or like whose turn it was to get groceries. But like we were all very close and like we all took care of each other and drove each other to work and um, threw each other parties for our birthdays. It was like a really great big huge place and I only paid 250 in rent um, nice. it was like a thousand five hundred square feet I would I would go back there to visit so uh for before we get into the next set of questions um I just want to offer you guys like a little snack um yeah I think I think you guys are gonna love it I think you're gonna love it 
Did you did you want to do you want to taste? Is this a human hand? It's a little <laughs> sticky. It's a little <laughs> sticky. Hey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, not. okay. <laughs> Rose, you want? No, you good. Lacey, sorry. Leslie, good. Thank Jason. You. Uh, all right. Fuck it. So our next question: When outside of Texas, have people ever given you shit about being from Texas? Let's start with Matt. Fuck yeah. <laughs> How? Everybody knows, like, people say, like, uh, oh, you guys ride horses over there. But uh, I've heard some Swedish people say that whenever something happens that's crazy, they'll say, oh, that's really Texas. Like, when they see a fight or something like that, they're like, wow, the fight was really Texas. Really Texas. Or, like, did you know that in South Africa, they, uh, they sell this big, gigantic steak. It's like an inch thick, and it comes in a plastic bag. You put it in, in the fire, in the plastic bag. The bag won't melt. But they say it's a Texas steak. Um. <laughs> Rose? I have a lot of friends from out of state who have um, come to visit me and I've like debunked the whole, like we all ride horses and wear 10 gallon hats. And <laughs> I think that just their experience of like visiting me is like, this is nothing like I imagined Texas would be. I was like, yes, it is not the wild, wild west. <laughs> <laughs> Except for one time I had a friend visit me um, who was from Portland area. And we were going to South by Southwest and I picked her up and I wasn't driving a truck, but I was driving a Suburban, which was like two people in a Suburban. Um, <laughs> Cause it was the car that I learned how to drive in. Yeah. Um, and we were, we were driving to Austin and I kid you not, like um, a tumbleweed just rolls across the highway. <laughs> yes. and I was like, I've never seen that happen. And I've lived here my whole life. Yeah, I, d I mean, I definitely heard the whole steers and queers thing when I was living in the Northeast. There's steers and queers, and which one are you? <laughs> I'm both. <laughs> Lacey. You know, I really don't have a ton of experience with people asking me those things or, or anything like that. I, I will have a student here or there to come down from like Chicago or something, and they'll have like their ideas about what Texas is like, and then whatever their expectation was, it's like immediately like blown out of the water. We're like, wow, you guys are weirder than I thought. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, so that that's kind of my only experience with that. I'm, I'm a bit of a homebody and I like to avoid tourists coming yeah. in or also I don't really travel anywhere. I kind of stay in my cave, so. Jason. Um, yeah, very, very similar to Lacey. I don't really get out a whole lot and. Uh, Thanks um, for being here. If I am traveling or off somewhere and I mention I'm from Texas. I usually just get a like a look, like a, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've gotten that. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, totally. When I was living in the Northeast, uh, also they were like, you, "You're from California, right?" And I'm like, "What?" I do say y'all a lot. Yes. I never got behind that. I don't know I what say it is. All the time. Y'all is gender neutral. All the time. You guys. Time. Yeah. Leslie. I recently uh, took my honeymoon in Japan for two weeks and I was kind of happy to start saying I was from Texas because I was glad I was from a state that people knew mm -hmm. in America. So they were like, Americans, yes, where? Texas. Oh, Texas and everybody. <laughs> Immediately and I'm like, Hell yeah, we got guns, we're from Texas, y'all. I was like, I'm totally a part of the problem and I'm sorry to everybody in Texas. But it was just, they were so excited to know. So it was like, oh yeah, we do have hats. We do have guns. We've got a few horses here and there, depending on where you're yeah. at. So our last question today. New evidence has come to light recently that the real killer of John F. Kennedy was actually a Sasquatch like yourselves. Care to comment on that, Rose? Why would you ask that question? I mean, I gotta ask the tough questions. Seems it's, really It's just my job. It's, I don't know. It's really just my, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, fair, fair, fair. Lacey. So where are you getting your information from? I've never heard that. That's incredibly offensive. How can you back that up? I, you know, I don't really need to. I'm just, I'm just asking a question, okay? It's just a, it's just a question, okay? Really, I mean, Matt, Dude, first of, of all, time. that's a very racist kind of question to ask. You think it's why, racist, yeah, why, really? Yeah, why would you really even bring is. that up, man? It's, it's not why racist at all. I, no. Uh, fuck oh, that, dude. Okay, all like, right. Peaceful Fine, people. that's that's your opinion. I mean, Leslie, like, come on. Go fuck yourself. Okay, cool. Uh, Jason? No class, man. No, no class, really. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm why sorry. Me? I'm sorry. I didn't... I'm, I appreciate you guys being here at least, like really. What, 
Yeah. You're gonna do it. Oh, come on, guys. Guy, like, really? Oh, hey, come on, guys. Really? Okay, I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down. All right. <laughs> Well, that was part of Wind Machine. Oh, God. Oh, I'd like to thank my guests, Leslie, Lacey, oh, Rose, oh, Matt, Jason, um, well, it's your host, Brandon. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh.